In 1945, Vannevar Bush proposed the Memex. Today, in 2008, we think his vision can be realized. We have built a system at the University of North Carolina named Neonote to demonstrate this. This video shows how such a system could provide integrated instant access to all your information and allow you to conveniently share it with others. Step into our research lab for a demonstration of what a Memex-like system could look like today. Did you guys read an article for Dr. Franklin's Times today? I did, and I added my review comments to it, too. Did you see how many people have already commented on it? Over 30. I only skimmed it, but wait till you see what I'm adding. I searched worldwide for all comments in the article and found some great analysis from a group at Vanderbilt. And even better, there were responses to their comments from the authors of the original article. It's going to blow Dr. Franklin away. There was a lot more, and I just noted them all to my digital library. Do you want me to send them to you? Yes. OK, it's done. They should be in your libraries. Oh, great. I've got them now. Most searches are performed using search engines within web browsers. This user is searching for information on wind power. After reviewing the results page, they select the Wikipedia page and begin to review it. On the page, they discover information they wish to annotate and save. To do this, the user clicks on the highlighting tool of Neonote. This changes the user interface so that whenever the user selects text on a web page, it's highlighted and an annotation is automatically created for that web page and saved to an annotation server. The annotation captures the web page, the date and time of the annotation, the author, and the highlighted text. Annotations may be made by users and they're always available to be displayed on the web page. The user chooses whether to have them displayed or not. Additionally, they can control whether they wish to see their annotations, annotations made by uh, groups they may be a member of, for instance, a class or a research team, or if they wish to see everyone in the world's annotations. Similarly, they control the privacy settings of the annotations that they create. The annotations can additionally hold the text description and tags. The user can bring up the annotation note by simply double-clicking on the annotation, in this case the highlighted text, and then the user can edit the text or the tags. In Neonote, we distinguish between bookmarks and note marks. Bookmarks are used to identify frequently used resources and provide shortcuts. Note marks, on the other hand, are used to mark information of interest on a subject. This may be for a short time, like checking on vacation possibilities, or for a longer time, like research on a topic of interest. Note marks may have multiple user-assigned tags allowing them to be searched and retrieved by any of their tags. In Neonote, to note mark a page, the user simply clicks on the note mark icon in the toolbar, which automatically captures the page in the currently selected note mark folder. The user can add additional tags to the note mark at any time. The user can search note marks by the tags in the note mark sidebar, allowing for easy retrieval of all note marks associated with specific tags. An important function for scholars is to conveniently capture and reuse citation information. Under development in Neonode is the ability to tightly integrate captured citation information. Here the user is using Zotero, a plugin for the Firefox browser, which demonstrates the concept of capturing citations. The user has performed a search and wishes to capture a collection of citations from their results page. With a single click, all the citation information is captured and stored. Under Neonote, this information and the associated full text content items are all stored in the user's web space where they are searchable and reusable from anywhere. Earlier, we saw how content items, annotations, and citations could be saved. 
This information is stored by NeoNote on the web so that it is accessible to the user from anywhere. Searching is done through standard search engines like Google. NeoNote enhances the Google Desktop search so that when users search, they are searching not only the web and their local computer, but also their online personal library space that contains their saved annotations and content. Furthermore, this information is used to prioritize their search results. It matches against information in the annotations, the saved web pages or citations, cause those items to appear at the top of the user's result list. Here, the user is searching with Google Desktop, and the highest priority matches are those from their personal library. An important part of annotating material is to share it with other people. Here a student in a research seminar class is reading a scholarly paper and adding their comment annotations to the paper. In this example, the student is using Adobe Acrobat to perform the collaborative review. Each of the students in the class is independently reviewing the paper and then reviewing all the class's comments on the paper. When this student is finished adding their comments to the paper, they turn on the display of the comments from the other students and the instructor. Collaborative tools like these allow virtual collaborations across time and space, removing barriers to cooperative work. This is really hard. You know, Beth, I'm having a really hard time finding good information articles on the information-seeking behavior of scientists. Didn't you guys read some of these articles last semester in your journal review class? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe when you get back to your computer, can you send me some of those? Do you want all of them, or just the ones on information-seeking behavior? Well, if you can, just the articles on information-seeking. Okay. You can do that from there? Yeah. And I just added all of the articles on information-seeking behavior and all the rest of the ones from this semester to your library, along with all the past comments. Wow, that's great. That was so easy. This work was done in the Informatics and Visualization Laboratory under the direction of Professor Brad Hemminger in the School of Information and Library Science at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. The real work, of course, was done by his graduate students, in this case, Ji Jin and Pei Wenzhou. We hope this video inspires you to create something.